Day 191 here, very exciting. Chest and triceps today. Um, if nothing, the uh, hair continues to make gains, so we got that going for us. We're checking in with Mr. Snowman outside. Rest in peace, or is he still going? Oh boy. Definitely a shell of his former self. It's still going. Pretty nice weather today, like 50 degrees, sunny, real, real good for uh, February. Yikes. Gotta keep this hair growth going. Gonna check the weight. As usual, three pounds-ish, a little more accurate weigh-in. Um, you can deduct that from this number. Let's see what we got. Yesterday was super high. Oh, man. This is good stuff. So you can kind of settle in a little bit. Also, I'm... I don't know, I was actually feeling pretty, pretty puffed, so I did not have a fourth meal before working out today. Um, so I think I might have been, potentially could have been like 214.6 or something like that if I ate some more food, or 214.4 or something like that. Um, let me show you what we got for the uh, workout plan. So got the body weight there, incline bench, we're gonna start off 245. Maybe we'll do two, two sets at 245, we'll have to see how it feels. We'll do the drop down set 225, then we'll go two sets on the flies stretch out the pecs, and then we'll go two sets on the crushers, and that'll probably do it. Um, that should be good. We'll see, maybe a set of press downs. All right, see what we can get here. Um, hopefully closing in on 10, but no rush, slow and steady. Would like to, would like to get at least eight though. Um, yeah, that would be good. That would, that would get me a little closer to that 10 mark. <clears throat> but we shall see. Had a pretty solid squat day yesterday, so, um, you know, I don't want to be unrealistic. All right. Forgot to wear that Rugged Maniac shirt that I kind of stick to the bench with. Too slow there. All right. A little too slow and controlled at the beginning there. That's all right. Happy with it. Um, I think. Doing pretty well on time, so I think I'll do one more set at 245 in hopes that it just helps it feel a little more comfortable. Um, because it definitely felt more in control, so that's why I was going that's why I was going a little slower. Uh, but that can obviously increase the time under tension for lower reps, which trade off. I mean, time under tension, that's good, right? But uh it can take away from the reps. So we'll get one more set and then we'll uh, drop the weight. All right, set number two. Hopefully, if I get six, that would be really cool. I'll try and keep them slow and steady again, or moderately slow and steady. And just keep trying to get more comfortable with the weight. It'll get there in time. I'm excited about getting 275, but I really can't, can't rush it. Got to always remind myself. If I rush it, I'm just going to have to backtrack anyway, and then it's going to waste time. So better off just lean into it. Stay with it, stay consistent, let the body get used to it over time. All right.
Uh, not the rep I wanted, but the rep I deserved. That's all right. <sighs> yeah, happy to get six. It was not. <laughs> it was more, I didn't want to go through the effort of having to re-rack it back up. Obviously, I wanted to get six reps, but mainly it was just, I don't want to have to go through all the hassle of resetting it. That was what got that rep done. <sighs> just proves it's all, <laughs> or some of it, because it went up and it started to go down, and I was just like, I don't have time to reset all this weight. Let's just get this done. So, didn't pop any blood vessels. We're good. On to 225. All right, last set, 225, hopefully 10, but we'll see. Just going to keep it slow and steady. I think slow and steady is going to be the way because on my, my first set with 245, I think I've been trying to rush a little bit, try and like get through the reps really quick. And I don't think that that is the way because I lose some of that work with the uh, lockout strength. So slow and steady from uh, now on and just leaning into the getting comfortable with the weight across the process. <sighs> just the usual mistakes I make, trying to rush things, you know, trying to rush it. You don't end up doing it the right way, putting in the time. So we're going to, uh, we're going to readjust there and, uh, start making sure the reps are all good. And then hopefully we'll be able to get 10 reps soon on the 245 because I am excited to start working with 275 on this but i'm not bored at all i mean i i just like lifting so you know even if it took another three months i don't think it will but even if it did and i just had to stay at 245 and just you know keep working through it with the reps that would be totally fine um there's no rush i just get overexcited sometimes i'm like all right let's just let's get to the 10 whatever it takes but it's not really worth it better off getting there with good form all right, Let's see what we can do. Make sure the mic's still on. Yeah, that was what I get for pushing that sixth rep with the last set. All right, short rest, maybe like two minutes, and then we'll do the uh, flies. All right, Ay -ay. time for some flies. Lots of stretch. Hopefully, I don't hit that. Um, probably just 15. <sighs> Always got to make sure the mic is on. I got a slight bend going on in the elbows, but. flies probably just 12 because the chest is getting pretty fatigued which is good All right. All right. Feel good. Feel like maybe we can push past the 10. Once I get 12, then we'll take a stab at the 65s, but not until then. 
Got to keep the elbows safe. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm just happy to be doing 60s consistently on these. That was only like nine, but oh, I'm really in no rush with those. We'll get there. Give it a couple seconds. I found with those crushers, if I go one rep too far, I can not not lately. Lately's been really good, I think. Dumbbells actually haven't had any issues. It was with um, with uh, like easy bar skull crushers. And I was just doing them like once a week. And I just did one set, pushed a little too far, and ended up with elbow tendonitis both sides for like a month. And it only went away. <sighs> Right, that's good. Only went away when I started doing them again because I stopped obviously when oh, I'm in the frame there. You know, I stopped when I felt it in my elbows, but then after taking like a month off, the tendons felt exactly the same when I tried to do skull crushers again with a lightweight. So I was like, all right, maybe I just need to do like super, super lightweight for like sets of 20, slowly work my way back up. Um, and I did that, and then, you know, after like a month, tendons healed up fine, no problem since. But since then, I've been cautious, very cautious, because um, that was not great, less than optimal for sure. So that's why sometimes you'll see me do a set where, like, it, I could clearly do another rep, um, but, you know, just from that one experience, taught me a little bit of caution on those. And that's how I go about it, you know, um, now on and going forward. Press downs, other stuff, especially cable stuff. I don't have any issue going all the way to failure. No problems there. Um, it's a little easier of a movement on the uh, elbow joint. But these are really good for the, for the tricep growth. So I like to keep them in the circuit just once a week and just be, you know, be cautious. Leave a rep in the tank most of the time. So I think that was nine. And uh, maybe next time we'll try and get, you know, 10 to 12. I think I've done 11. So we're, we're getting there. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Another good, another good solid workout. As always, really appreciate the support. Um, appreciate everybody who made it to the end of the video last time, commenting the uh, Terminator um, favorite movie. Um, if you made it to the end of the video today, just, uh, well, ho hopefully that means you enjoyed the video. Um, but drop a comment about any issues with joints that you've had and how you were able to resolve them, um, or if it's ongoing or, or, you know, just what your thoughts on um, dealing with, you know, uh, injury or aggravation like that are. Um, just curious to, curious to see what people think and um, how other people have gone about, you know, resolving a situation like that. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Um, until tomorrow. Tomorrow we got those farmer carries uh, and pull-ups, curls, rows, double dumbbell rows, lots of good stuff. Um, yeah, coming up soon. I'm going to go eat some food. Nice and sunny. It's like 50, 55 degrees. So excellent weather. Hope it is wherever you are as well. Um, and until tomorrow, peace.